is going on call of duty fans and welcome back to around the cdl episode 27 i think this is at this point but either way it's champs time it's champs brackets time um and boys how are we feeling preston's on vacation so let's start with you preston how how are you doing man i'm feeling great man yeah i'm on vacation i'm having a good time your whole Enjoying family's the in the room days. with you right now uh they've all kind of kind of migrated to their own little areas my fiance oh, nice. is in front of me and my cousin is in and out of consciousness from waking up so <laughs> um uh no but i'm having a good time last couple of days of vacation and then uh flying down to see the boys in a couple of days so yeah happy to be here as always yeah Alex. i mean it's great i'm in texas right now uh, which is why i'm also on a very shitty setup. I have my phone with chat open. I have my laptop with Discord open. And then my girlfriend's laptop for my pickup. So uh -huh. we're making it work. We're making it work. But yeah, I mean, I'm in Richardson right now. Not too close to the venue. You know, I wanted some space away from COD once I got out. So I decided to get a B&B a little further away, but not too far. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm living life. Been here since yesterday. Just kind of exploring, you know, Allen, Richardson, and all the other surrounding areas. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm excited. It's champs time. Tomorrow is the day. First day of champs. We'll say there hasn't been as much champs hype as yeah. years prior. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but another thing, we, I don't think we, we, we've had an episode since then, but just a quick congratulations to my guy, Preston, for that engagement. Uh, you know, absolutely. First one, their second one, because I think I believe Jake is also engaged. I am. So uh, I am I, I am up for the running, but we we, <laughs> we will see when that happens. Uh, Thank you, boys. Yeah. Thank you, brothers. Appreciate that very much. It's overall doing well. Pass it off to my guy Jake. Hell yeah, yeah. Major congrats to Preston. I mean, that's that's a big step. So congrats to you both. Alex will follow suit when when the time is right. You know, no rushing things. You can't you can't rush that type of stuff. But uh, yeah, some. But speaking of rings, four players are going to be getting some more this weekend, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, and some coaches, I'm sure too. But uh, that's all we're going to be talking about today. It's going to be a bit of a shorter episode for for chat and those watching. We're literally just going to do our brackets, right? We said Preston's on vacation, Alex is in Dallas, so we'll kind of all do our brackets, end the show a bit quicker than usual. Um, and then champs. I'm I'm heading over to champs tomorrow meeting up with with Alex Preston's flying down Friday group photo for the new t Twitter profile picture at some point <laughs> but it's gonna be cool bro it is gonna be really cool um so yeah let me uh let me switch my screen over and let's just get right into it who wants to start man who wants to start and do their bracket first I can start all right we'll let Alex start let's start it off Right and the correct way. Okay, That's we how we go. I don't know how many matches there are. Twenty, twenty. I will go twenty for twenty. Brother. Twenty matches. I think there's twelve, isn't there? Oh, never mind. I will go twelve for twelve, brother. <laughs> or like fourteen. There's usually eighteen, but there's less teams at this one, so I don't know how that balances. It's definitely not twenty. I can tell you that much. Uh, Either I mean, way, who cares? You're going perfect. Yes, I'm going perfect regardless. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just go straight up, just top. They're yeah. top to bottom and then That's go back easiest. up to the top. Um, because I don't want to do with the schedule stuff. Uh first match, FaZe versus Miami. Um I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I think there's no if, ands, or buts. Um, I also am on a Miami hate train oh, for God. the entire season. <laughs> uh, so I hope they get piss slammed by FaZe. This is the only time where I am a big Atlanta FaZe fan. Woo! Atlanta Phase Burner is my new name for this lift one. Back, lift that. <laughs> but they are, I, I am going Atlanta Phase 3 0. Um, why? Because fuck Miami. That's really the only reason why. I don't like this guy. Blicko wants to talk all that shit. Oh, he better believe I will be talking my shit <laughs> in that VIP row. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next match <laughs> Subliners versus Surge. I think this one can get tricky if Subliners don't come out hot. Um, they played really well for Major 4. Um, we saw how Optic came out Major 4 qualifiers after winning Major 3. So I don't believe that'll be the situation with New York. But nonetheless, I think it'll still be a relatively competitive match. Um, I think the games will be a lot closer. Um, but I'm still going New York 3-1. Um, nice. 
I could see it going to Game Five. I truly can, just because of how Seattle plays. They're very when they're on, they're on team, and when they're off, you know, they're they kind of suck. But if they turn it on on that particular day, they're really hard to beat. They're also really good at search. Um, so I am going to go with New York three one. Um, next game, Toronto versus the LA Thieves. I get to watch the boys for the first time in person. I can't wait. I mean, we all saw that. I think Jake tweeted, Jake Halley tweeted it. Chat GBT said that the Thieves were winning champs. Um, oh, dude. I always was a big fan of Chat GPT. So, I mean, they, Chat, Chat GBT might be cooking. AI might know something that, might know something that we don't. Nonetheless, I'm still going to go Toronto. Uh, I'm going Toronto 3-1 over the Thieves. Um, but I think it'll be competitive. You know, it's land. Teams are going to fight for their life. They don't want to go out top 12 at champs. So I think it'll be competitive, close matches. Honestly, I think all the matches this weekend are going to be really, really close. Um, we're definitely not going to see a lot of 3-0s, maybe some 3-1s, 3-2s. But I think that all matches are going to be really close overall. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm going Toronto three one. Next, um, Optic versus LAG. The the biggest question mark of the weekend, probably for everyone, um, because it's the first match of champs for Optic. They're going against the LAG team that just got top three at major four, um, and our search and destroy is still pretty iffy. Um, from what we've seen, I mean, things could have changed in scrims and stuff like that. But from last time we saw them, search and destroy was absolute booty cheeks. Um, but I still have faith in the guys. Home crowd, first game, or we're last game technically, but first game at Champs. So I'm going the boys 3-1. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I want it to be a 3-0 because I want us to get that confidence in S&D. Theoretically, the the game mode that Gorillas can take from us is that search and destroy because they are a really good search team. Um, But I think if we can pull that one over on them, Really good start for us. Really good to get us, you know, that momentum for the other S and Ds that are going on. Um, and then elimination round one. Who's going out in last, bro? Who's Miami going out in last? Surge. Get Miami out of here. I don't want to see those <laughs> shits. Um, I'm going surge three zero as well. I'm not playing with them. I want wow. them out. Zero oh, and six map count. Don't want to see those guys. I will be talking my shit, Diggle. So you better be ready. That's crazy. Uh, Next, Thieves versus Gorillas. Battle never of LA on our yeah. podcast, bro. There's not a chance. <laughs> this is never gonna happen. Oh my god. Thieves versus Gorilla. Battle of LA, second elimination round uh match. Uh I'm going Thieves. I'm thinking Thieves. Um sucks to say because LED is a really good team. You know, again, I picked Esther as my rookie of the year. Diamond Con's been playing really well. Fame is hard to pick it up a little bit. Um, and Flames came in, and he kind of turned this team around. So, sucks for them. Those guys are good. Um, sucks that they also won't be at the World Cup, honestly. I feel so bad for them. Um, but I'm not too sure what went into the, the thought of that. I don't know. We can probably talk about that a little bit later. Um, but Battle of LA, I'm going Thieves. I'm going Thieves 3-1 on that. Um, and then back up to winners, winners round two, phase versus subliners. Um, this is where people might call me faded. I have subliners winning three two. Wow. Um, I have them knocking phase down into the losers bracket. Um, I think they had they still have that confidence over them um from winning major four and they'll ride that. So I think I have confidence in New York. And again, we always say this New York for some reason plays phase super duper duper close. Um, and again, they just beat them at major four. So I think they'll ride that. I think they'll have the number a little bit. So I'm going New York three, two over phase, um, winners round two optic versus ultra. Um, again, two teams that kind of always go back and forth with each other. Um, I believe we're tied on the series for over the season, like our series record could be wrong. Um, but I am going optic three, two. Um, I think, again, if we get that win over LAG and we get our search and destroy looking good, I have the boys moving on to winners round three. I like comments. Yes, I I have full confidence in the boy. Again, call it delusional, call it whatever you want. We just finished top 12. I have the utmost confidence in the boys, and I will always have the utmost confidence in the boys. Um, Elimination round two, Ultra versus Surge. 
This is where Surge bows out of champs. Unfortunately, I have them losing to uh, to Toronto 3-0 um, and moving on. After that, FaZe versus Thieves. Ah, oh, Jake, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, man. This is where, where your boys, in my opinion, bow. Again, Chat GPT could have cooked AI. They know something that we don't. Hey, dude, I, I'm down for this. They at least make it to Saturday. I mean, come on. I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, I have them losing to phase 3-1. Uh, but again, Thieves, for some reason, sometimes always play uh, phase really close on land, especially. So you never know. Um, you know, Crip could pop off. We, we know Ghost is going to have his master class series that he always has. Um, but I think if they really want to win, they, they need Joe and Crimp to really step it up in, in a big time and match Simp and Abizi. Um, next, we have a winners or, or winners final, um, subliners versus optic. I also have that going to game five, and I have that going to optic. Oh, um, shit. So, I have optic going from the winners bracket into grand finals. Um, again, call it delusional, call it whatever you want. Um, I have the utmost confidence with the boys. Call it optic, with the burner, you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm yeah. calling it for no reason, you feel me? Um, with the support of the green wall behind them in Texas, I think it'll be a no-brainer. A no-brainer. It'll still be a really good game, but I have confidence in the boys. Uh, moving on to el- elimination round three, Toronto versus Faze, Draz, Draza versus Scrappy. I mean, Ooh. this is this this game is gonna feed generations. Tactical Rad is gonna buy three new mansions after this <laughs> game. <laughs> I guarantee it. Um, Call me faded. I have ultra winning three two. I have phase, phase out top four. four. I have phase out top four. Yeah. Uh, ultra again, ultra I, do beat them on land, so it's not completely crazy. It's not, but you know, people are gonna call me faded because phase is phase. Yes, they have five hundred and sixty CDL points, the most in history. Yada yada yada. Whatever. whatever. Um. But yes, I have Toronto winning um, 3-2 that game. And then we'll move on to Elimination Finals, uh, where it is New York versus Ultra. Uh, I mean, this is where I think Toronto bows out. Um, for some reason, they just went whenever they play Ultra. I mean, New York, they always play like shit. I don't know what it is. I don't know if just New York has their number, if they just are a way better matchup for them. Uh, but I have New York winning that as well, 3-2. Then we move on to the grand finals, Optic versus Subliners. Uh, will Subliners go back to back? Will Optic get their ring? Um, I have Optic winning in eight. I have the score five to three in Optic's favor. Um, again, I have confidence in the boys. I will always have confidence in the boys. Call me delusional. Uh, if we don't <laughs> win, I, call, I am calling for a team change. I'm just playing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I have Optic winning 5-3. And that is in my bracket. Chat, I love you. If you don't love me, oh well, still come say hi to me because I get lonely at champs. You're you enjoy the game together. <laughs> you making your picks as I'm reading comments from chat is oh, fucking yeah. hilarious. It's actually hilarious. They called you delusional. They, they were, you said to call them delusional and they did it. <laughs> Every single pick you made, you were just delusional. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. He's, that's a, fa- a, he's yeah. a fan of his favorites. He's a fan of a team. I was dropped as a baby, I will say. So, call me a little slow. Call me delusional. It happens. Oh, All right. So, <laughs> Alex says Optic beating New York. He's got Ultra Top 3, Phase Top 4. So, Phase Top 4 is probably the hot. As low, I don't know what's hotter take. Optic winning or Phase Top 4? Probably Phase Top 4, actually. Probably Phase Top 4. Because they almost never place us at a Top 3. Yeah. All right, right. Preston, you're up. Sure. All right. Preston is up. Chat, I always go last so I can save my pickums at the end since I'm the one doing it on screen. So you got to wait, dude. You got to wait for me. Caleb is feeding for you. He wants. I know, dude. Caleb wants me, bro. All right. Phase Heretics. I don't think this is going to be close. I think this is going to be a phase 3 0. I think it's done in 25 minutes. I think phase (laughs) comes in, makes a statement, shows why they're phase, and Miami sucks. Subliner Surge. This is my this is my underdog pick of the tournament right here. I have Surge winning in a game wow. five over the major four champions. Over the major four champs. Okay. Okay. I think New York comes in with their head high. They just won a, a, an event. I think they they get sent to losers early. 
Okay. I got ultra LAT. I'm sorry, Jake. I got ultra three one. I just don't think LAT is as good as ultra. Um, All good. Can they win? Sure, but I just think ultra are too good. Optic LAG. This is a like Alex said, massive question mark for obviously a ton of reasons. Not for not only for everybody's bracket, but for seventy two percent of the CDL fan base. Uh, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a 3-0 for Optic. All right. I think they come in, they had a little reset, team vibes back on track, and I think they just go and take care of business the way that they should. And remember, remember, remember how to play proper Call of Duty, finally. All right, Elam round one. Miami, New York. Uh... I do think they drop down to losers, but I don't think they get sent home. I do think New York beats Miami here. Uh, however, I'll give Miami a map. I'm not going to make them go out of six. <laughs> you don't, you're, not, you're not like Alex? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll give them a map just out of pure generosity. Fuck me, right, Abby. <laughs> uh, L-A-T, L-A-G. Jake, I hate to do this to you. I'm oh, you. no. But this battle is just I, so I mean, historically lopsided. That's what it's so historically saying. lopsided. Like it's like seven to two at this point. Like I think how it's can worse. I not? I think it's nine three. That's insane. Something like, like that. Like how can I? How can I not go the guys in purple? They just got top three. You guys struggle on land. You guys struggle against these guys. Oh. I'm gonna go. Dude, this LAG. is the worst possible elimination draw for us. Elimination. Round it one. is. I'm gonna go LAG in a game five. I respect it. The logical so, pick. Miami and LAT bow out top eight. Now. Back to winners. Atlanta, Seattle. Again, when you get first seed every single year, your bracket tends to play in your favor. Atlanta's just better than these guys. Talent diff. I don't even think that Seattle will win a map. Um, I think this is just another 3 for phase. 6 0 map count for them so far, champs. Um, they're going to be feeling good. Really, not much more to say there. I mean, Phase is strictly business. It is what it is. That, that's a different word, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, it <laughs> is. All right. Org, org, orgs, 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 orgs. This one right here is a battle. This is an absolute juggernaut match right here. Um. Okay. This sucks, but I, I'm going to go ultra here. And I'm going to go ultra for the pure reason that I just think that they're going to go into this this match with a little bit more confidence than uh, than Optic will have. Um, even though Optic just came in and won their first series, and the first series for them in like six weeks, um, I just think Toronto's going to have uh, a nice little confidence boost over Optic here. So I'm going to go Ultra three one, which will send Optic down to losers, which is scary because uh, they then face New York. But I'm telling you right now, this is where the run starts. Right here. Okay. When they won Major 3, their championship Sunday run started with New York. Generational. Okay, it, is, it is starting again this time with New York. I'm going to give it to them in the game 5. New York bows out top 6. Optic move on. They make it to elimination round 3. Surge, LAG. This is actually... A solid matchup. I'm not going to lie. This is yeah, a solid nice matchup. Um, this could go either way. I just, for some reason, feel like this is going to be Seattle. Uh, I would like LAG to win this because I really like those guys, but I just feel like this is a, C a Seattle win here. So I'm going to I'm gonna give Seattle the W. Uh, I'm also going to make that a game five. Um, so Seattle also make it. To elimination round three. Optic Seattle. Now <laughs> don't Optic have a history they... of getting top four against Seattle at champs? Yes. Oh, they Lord. do. Oh Lord, is it three years in a row? No. All curses are meant to be broken, Jake. I love it. And that is this year. This is a three one for Optic. Maybe they lose control. Maybe they lose S and D. Who knows? But they're the better hard point team. So I think they win both hard points. Okay. Um, and, and they take care of business. So now that means we have Phase, Ultra, and Optic left in this bracket, which 
did we think otherwise? I mean, let's be real. <laughs> This, if you asked us about two months ago, this is what I would have had, probably. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send FaZe to the Grand Final. I think they beat Ultra. I think it's a good series, but I think they comfortably beat Ultra, uh, Ultra 3-1. And at this point, FaZe's map count is 9-1. They've pretty much cruised to the Grand Finals of COD Champs. They're feeling really good. And it's now the final match of Saturday. To face these tiny little fuckers in the grand final. Oh God, where you want to Ultra, face them of all of all places? Optic. I'm gonna go optic in a game five. Send them through losers. Good losers run. Momentum entirely in their favor. Now you may say, "What am I gonna do here? I have no idea." Well, unfortunately. Although I am a man of my green wall, I also believe in the future of AI. And AI predicted FaZe to beat Optic in the grand final about it, nine months ago. It did. And I would be a fool to not follow through after it completely, completely picked last year's winner. So I'm going to go Atlanta FaZe as this year's Call of Duty champions against my boys. Damn. I'm going to go 5-3. It'll be phase 5-3. Now, does this suck? Absolutely. But the way that I look at this is, if I am wrong, and this is rules reversed, I'm going to be happy no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, my bracket either cooks, or I am very happy. Either way, it's a partial win for me. There is my bracket. Bang. I respect it. All right. Optic fan picks phase to win champs. Seattle top four, New New York top six. That's your yes. hot. That's definitely your hot take in this bracket is New York top six. Uh, it is. I, I do not. I, I think major floor was a fluke. I do. Okay. I mean, I hey, do. the last I, two years, whoever won the last major won the event. So you guys can if i listen if i if it fails miserably and i just get slammed and they go and they just dominate the competition at champs then i'm a moron but i think major four was a fluke no fans they had insane losers run momentum i mean they went to losers round one after getting slammed by phase beat up on some people on the way i, I think it was a bit of a it was a bit of a fluke uh, also, you got an insane tournament out of Kismet, which is what you needed, but you haven't seen that all year. So I don't think that's going to be replicated. I think they're going to think that they can replicate it, and it's going to it's going to snap them. I think they're going to they're going to fall out early. All right, I like it. We got we got Optic making the finals in both brackets so far, but one win and one loss. What am I going to do, man? What am I going to do? I really have no idea. I didn't think about this much. What are you going to do, Jake? I don't know. I'm going purely off vibes, gut reaction. Uh, uh, phase 3 out to start it off. I, I have no, no hatred towards Miami. I just think phase are really good, especially on Thursdays uh, for, for events. So I'm going to go phase 3 out. New York versus Seattle. I'm going to go New York 3-1. I think New York are, are riding high right now. I think they look really good. I think Kisma and Sib have found some form. Um... And I like New York 3-1 over Seattle. Toronto versus LAT. Okay, I'm not, I'm not that crazy. You know what I mean? I'll go th I'm going to go 3-2 Toronto. I'll be a little bit crazy, right? I think we can go game five. But I'm going <laughs> to give it to Toronto. I, I really... <laughs> dude, I'd do any I would do anything to see them win this series tomorrow. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but it is, you know, it's Toronto. It's a really tough draw. I mean, any of these teams were a tough draw, honestly, but... Really tough draws. I'm going to go Ultra in around 11, or not around 11, in Game 5. Maybe around 11. I don't know. Hopefully not. That would be heartbreak. You don't want to see me crying on, on the main broadcast. Trust. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be sobbing, bro, in the front row. Uh, and then we have Optic versus LAG. None of us have picked LAG to beat Optic yet. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go, okay. I'm going to go Optic. I'm going to go 3-1. I think they get it done. Y you know, it's... This is the biggest upset potential. I think LAG over Optic is the most likely upset, given what we've seen in the last, you know, six weeks or so. But I don't know. I just got this feeling the top four teams are, 
are going to get it done in, in on Thursday tomorrow. Thursday. Wow, I can't literally can't believe that's tomorrow. That doesn't feel that doesn't feel right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go optic three one. Then we come down to elimination round one. I'm going to go Seattle Surge over the Miami Heretics in a game five. Uh, you know, Alex had him not winning a map. Preston had him winning one. I'll give him two. Uh, Miami could surprise us, though. They could. You never really know. But Seattle, Miami, both teams that I feel like, I don't know, they have high highs. I just think Seattle's floor might be a little bit higher than Miami's. Uh, so I'm going to give it to the Surge in a game five here. Then we get the Battle of LA, LA, man. Listen, I know what the stats say. But what kind of LA Thieves fan would I be if I gave in to the fucking stats? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going LAT 3-2. I said it all season. I'm, I'm always going to pick my boys over the rest of the bottom eight teams. I got to stand by it. I, I can't change up now, champ, especially not champs time. I got to get the good juju out there. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really, really don't want to see them go out top eight, man. That would be so unfortunate. Um, but also, I feel bad for LAG, especially because this is their last event as a team, most likely, unless they, like, I don't know, somehow get invited to the Esports World Cup for another org, or they qualify somehow. I don't really know. But this might be their last because they're not going to the World Cup, or at least LAG's not. Um, so, shout out to LAG. If this is their last event, especially if I have them going out this way, I hope they, uh, I hope they have a good offseason, man, because those guys deserve spots in the league next year. Um, then we go up to winners round two. FaZe versus New York. I mean, dude, FaZe just don't. They just don't lose. They don't lose on Thursday, Friday, or sometimes even Saturday. So I'm going to give it to Atlanta FaZe. I'm going to go, I'll go game five. Why not? We'll, we'll keep it fun. I think what Alex said might be true. We might not have a ton of 3 0s this weekend. Hopefully not, because it is champs. These should be the most competitive matches oh, of the season. If there's a bunch of 3 0s, I might just leave early. Yeah, right? Like, just head out, you know? Let's just, we'll go get some in and out or something. Uh, there is an in and out not that far from the venue I saw uh, and then Optic versus Toronto Ultra you know sorry Optic sorry to you two I gotta go Toronto yeah. here uh, I'll sorry. go this in a game 5 as well I'll go this one in a game 5 as well but I, I just think Toronto are probably the better team better informed team definitely better at search and destroy right now so I'm giving it to the Toronto Ultra 3-2 over Optic Texas to drop them down into losers to play the Seattle Surge. And I'm going to give it to Optic, man. I'm going to give it to Optic. You know, I think Seattle are a team that struggle with slaying. And I just feel like with the crowd behind them, Optic, someone's going to pop a two-piece, map one to start it, and the crowd's going to go nuts, and they're just going to keep frying off that crowd hype. I'll give Seattle a map. Okay. <laughs> Alex, that's gonna be Alex on the on the broadcast. But yeah, I I think Optic can do it, man. I think they could get top four. Um, like I said, Seattle, they're a hit or miss team. They really don't get a whole ton of a whole lot of kills, or sometimes they get a lot of kills. They just die more than they get kills. Um, and I think Optic with the crowd momentum is going to be able to take this one. They might lose the search, so that's why I'm giving Seattle a map. And, and then it's New York LA team, man, and. I want to do it, but I can't, dude. I, I really want to do it, but I just feel like it, it, I feel like it would be unfair to the New York subliners, given how they've looked recently, to, to, have, them, to have them do it. So once again, I'll, I'll give the guys two maps. I'll have this go 3-2. This would be absolute heartbreak if we lost two game fives against top four teams at champs. Um, but I'm going to give it to New York, man. I, I really do think the top four teams will end up being the top four at champs. I've just kind of felt that way throughout the year, and uh, I think it'll happen, man. I think it'll happen. Um, but yeah, then we get up into my winner's finals, where it is Atlanta FaZe versus Toronto Ultra. And listen, Toronto have had FaZe's number on land all year. Can FaZe break the curse or break the, you know, the stigma that, that's happened to them this season? Honestly, I got Toronto Ultra in a Game 5 in the winner's finals. To send Phase yeah. down to losers, yeah. I, do, I, I think I think Ultra just I don't know if it's the scrap versus Draza beef. I don't know if it's a matchup thing, but these guys just have something against Atlanta Phase, especially on land where they just beat them. Man, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know how, but they just always figure out a way to do it. Uh, so yeah, I got uh, I got Phase dropping to the elimination final. To face off against the winner of Optic versus NYSL. 
And I think this is where Optic's run comes to an end. Uh, unfortunately, you guys both had Optic in the Grand Finals. I got New York Subliners taking this in a Game 5. I just think they just, they're just so in form right now. They're just so in form. Um, I got them taking it. So, I apologize to Optic. This definitely would kill the vibes, probably, for Sunday. The vibes at the venue would be so much better if Optic were playing in the finals. But <laughs> I, I want to see how many less people show up on Sunday because if Optic get knocked out. So, hopefully they don't. Hopefully, Listen, hopefully they don't. I actually would want to see them in the grand finals uh, for my own viewing pleasure. Um, but I'm going to give it to New York in my pick -ems. Then we get into FaZe versus New York, man. And this one's, this one's interesting, right? Because we just saw New York... Uh, obviously win the last event. We saw FaZe beat them on a Thursday. New York obviously got it done on a Sunday. FaZe tend to struggle on Sundays, but this is a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? The only chance, the only the finals is on a Sunday. So this is Atlanta FaZe versus New York Subliners on a Saturday. And I'm going to give it to Atlanta FaZe. I'm going to go 3-2. I'm doing a whole bunch of 3-2s, but honestly, I don't really care, bro. It, it, it makes me feel better when I do 3-2 over something else. Uh, I'm going to go Atlanta phase, making the grand finals against or over the New York subliners in elimination, putting them out top three. Um, New York could definitely win this, especially if Kismet comes out and cooks, but I don't know, dude. I, I think, I think Draza wants that rematch versus scrap in the grand finals. I think he'll find a way to get it done. And then here we go. Toronto ultra versus Atlanta phase champs, grand finals. Both of these teams, low key silver surfers that champs, right? Obviously phase have a ring. Toronto have two seconds. FaZe have two seconds. I mean, this is like, you know, Cement, Simp, and Abizi is potentially top five, if not higher, in the all-time debate. Get Kleenex and Insight and scrap their first rings. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. No. But I, I, it, maybe it's because I want to kiss Dylan Envoy on the lips. I'm giving <laughs> Toronto Ultra... A game nine victory over Atlanta phase. I have this going all the way, bro. Finals this year have honestly not been that good. I'm just putting that out there for the hopes. But like I said, Ultra have phases number on LAN. I think Kleenex and Insight finally get their ring that I think they're very deserving of, right? Two second places. Um, and listen, I don't know. The no I, I to be fair, I did say I you fucked the numbers talking about LAT versus LAG, but also the the numbers for FaZe on Sundays on Grand Finals don't look that great. So I'm a bit hypocritical here. So if you want to call me LAT fan bias cheese for my match earlier in the, in the weekend. But I don't know, dude. I got Ultra getting it done, man. I, I think Scrap, he gets his first ring in his second year. I think Envoy gets another. I think the other two get their first as well. And I think this would be an absolute banger Sunday if it's not going to be like Optic versus LATs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If there's no optic, this is the match I want to. So I'd be cool with this. I just hope, I really hope we see a game nine. I really hope we see a game nine. I don't want to see five, like a 5 one. 1. Round 11. Oh, that would feed generations. Uh -huh. Dude, can you imagine Envoy top 20 with two rings? Easily, bro. Yeah. Easily. Top 15, probably. Honestly. Yeah, right. You're probably pushing that 15 for sure. But yeah, this is my bracket, man. I got Optic out top four, New York out top three, and then FaZe getting second against Ultra in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Envoy's, Envoy's is one of the best role players, bro. He's one of the best role players of all time. That's crazy. Hey, Shout out my guy, Envoy. Hey, listen. The only two is the second. You know? I, although I will say... It, I, maybe I should have picked, a t you know, that, that optic uh, curse. Maybe I should have went with LAT because even ChatGPT said it. So I don't know, dude. Listen, tomorrow, Champs is my first event. I pray I get CLA Thieves win one fucking series, bro. Please, for the love of God, one series. I can't, I can't go to an event and not see them win one. They got to. They got to. But yeah, chat, those are the brackets, man. We got one Optic, one Phase, and one Ultra as our champs from the three of us. So New York pretty... just come out and smoke everyone, dude. Yeah, none of us picked New York, which low-key is kind of, might be kind of faded, given how good they looked It's not a couple weekends it's ago. Not. It's but... the right pick. It's the right choice. We'll see, bro. We will see. Chat, is anyone going to be at champs? Or is anybody in chat right now going to be at champs? Uh, Preston's going to be there, and Alex, and myself. 
Oh, man. Yeah, Let's yeah. pretend that chat picked NYSL. There you go. So we got all four picked. All right, man, sure. if, that, if Sunday actually goes game nine, I just pray there's no tech delays because I'll be checking the time. I got a flight to get on. I'm yeah, like, what time is your what time is your flight? I mean, I guess you don't have to like dox yourself if you don't want to give too much info. But hold on, no, we'll be fine. I think you should be fine. I'm sure there's other people on the same flight. I actually don't know, to be honest. Oh, I gotta log back in. Un momento. I oh, also saw on the Pick'em site that the the second match, or no, the first match starts at two forty-five instead of two. Why? It start. It's the Pick'em site as it's starting forty-five minutes later. Did they push everything back? Oh, Sean. Because on the COD website it says two, but on the Pick'em site it yeah. says two forty-five. I'm going off seven forty-five. Seven forty-five flight. Yeah. Oh shit. You might be oh, pushing you're... it, bro. You you're... might be pushing it. Yeah. Because the final game starts at two. So if it's, it's only one series, if yeah. it's if it's three hours, let's say, if it goes nine maps, right? You'd think that, that maybe a, a one and a half ish hours is like a five map series. So yeah. this is three hours. If it goes nine, you leave, get to the airport. You'd probably be fine if it, if it was you're... done by yeah. five. Yeah, I think I'll be alright. The airport's is what, like there? thirty minutes from the venue, forty minutes. Yeah. Is it starting at three yeah. EST? Yeah, three EST. Yeah. As of right now, again on the pickup site, it does say that the first match is at two forty-five instead of two. So. Yes, but I think it's. I it should be three EST. Three yeah. EST yeah. noon PST. And then two CST. Yeah, I know. No watch party chat. I'm sorry. Hey, go support small streamers. Go check out Octane. He definitely could use some more viewers. You guys can all go over there. <laughs> nah. But, dude, I'm interested to see, like, what the flank, breaking point, um, Optic have as their watch party setups at this venue. It'll be cool to see kind of what their, their setups look like. I'll tell you tomorrow morning. I'll send you a picture because I'll be there very early. Hell yeah. What's good, Paul? I'm excited, oh, so, bro. Is it cool if I plug something for breaking point? Oh, plug away, brother. All right, so Breaking Point will be releasing custom posters inspired by champs. I'm pretty sure they're inspired by House of Dragons. Um, so if you're interested, go and copy one. Um, I'm pretty sure that they'll drop the link tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, they're like 20 bucks. Go in, copy, copy one. Um, all the teams are on there. Uh, the, the design is pretty dope, so... Uh, when they drop that, I think they're dropping it after first match, uh, but we'll also have some at the venue. So if you're at the venue, come stop by. I'll have some. You, you don't pay me. I'll just give them to you for free. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you want to have some? I got to get one, bro. Yeah, I, I'm going to need one of those. I'm going to need I, one I want to get one of those frame for the new yeah. office. Got you. I got you. But yeah, that's it. Sorry. That's Hashtag out. That's actually dope. Shout out Breaking Point, man. Those are those are the guys, bro. They they actually do so much for the community. So shout out to them for sure. But yeah, I mean, shit. That's pretty much all I had on the on the menu for tonight. Obviously, we said we were gonna keep it a bit quicker. We've only been live for forty six minutes. Cool. That works for me. You get ready to go to bed. Everybody's starting to fall asleep. So. Huh. All right. Yo, know, say your parting words and let's head to sure. champs. Chat. Appreciate you guys hanging out as always. Um, boys are going to be there tomorrow. I don't get down there until Friday evening, so I'll be at the venue Saturday. Um, so come say what's up and uh, let's have some fun. And hopefully, this event is a banger. Obviously, I hope Optic wins, but regardless, I hope it's a banger. My first ever champs, third ever event. So, should be sick. Texas is elite. So, yeah. see you guys down there and, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys as always. Chat, we made it final, 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 final time. Well, not final time. We'll be seeing you, but final time. You know, we'll get some COD for a little bit until we get to the World Cup, um, which we will also be covering as well in watch yeah, part. Yeah. Some none of us will be in Saudi for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we appreciate everyone. We we came a long way since our first episode. 
where we had like two people and now we're at a steady, you know, like 15 to 20. So we appreciate everyone. We appreciate all the support that y'all give us. And as I always say, if you love us, you love us. And if you hate us, <laughs> suck it. Um, oh, Lord. I mean, what, what, what can I say? But yeah, I mean, again, so you should uh, appreciate all the love that y'all give us. Uh, this would not be possible without y'all. We do this for y'all. Um, and again, if you're at Champs tomorrow, come say what's up to us. Me and Jake will be there. As Preston said, he'll fly in on Saturday. So come say what's up to us. We don't bite. Um, you know, we may invite you back to the telly, you know, get a little party going. Feel what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, as always, go Optic. Uh, and we'll see. Yeah, chat. Thank you guys a ton, man. 27 episodes, bro. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that we did this for 27 weeks, basically. Off season will be fun. We'll do some more like, probably bigger shows maybe some like top 20 top 30 type list type of things roster mania obviously esports world cup so keep stay up to date follow the twitter it's linked in the description around the cdl to know uh what's coming up with the rest of the shows for the off season but we appreciate you guys man for sure it's been uh it's been a great season i can't believe this is the last episode until we have a champs winner i guess we'll obviously do an episode after champs to talk about it but if you see us at the venue say hi i promise none of us i mean i guess i can't speak for the other two i'm not gonna bite I'm probably more scared for you to talk to me than you are to talk to me. Um, so I look forward to meeting you guys, if anyone's out there. And of course, meeting the boys in person for the first time. But let's go L8Ds, man. Let's have a really good event. And uh, yeah, Chad, thank you guys a ton. And we, we hope we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.